Hello, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2, so I have this suggestion from Jack Health. Is that how that's pronounced? Anyways, I got a suggestion from Jack here, and he says, uh, Make Earth five times the mass of Jupiter and lock its radius. But lock the radius. Okay, so we want to change the mass to five times the mass of Jupiter, but yeah, lock the radius. So let's go ahead and do that. No, we want Earth, not Jupiter. And let's see, we can increase the mass by value of 1, and then we should be able to... No, it does not appear so. There we go. Let's lock the radius and change this to a mass of 5 Jupiter. And he wants me to just throw things at it. Um, I don't know where to start with that. What should I actually throw at it? We could start with... Uh, let's just throw Jupiter at it and see what happens. Uh, let's see if we could actually miss. Let's go ahead and slow down time so it doesn't just go flying by very quickly. There we go, we should have Jupiter near it. And is it actually going to be shredded up in Roche Limit by any chance? Oh, wow. Looks like it pulled Earth in, but that was actually pretty cool. That happened very quickly and very abruptly, but, uh... Yeah, if you saw that, it actually shredded up Jupiter quite a bit before it actually got pulled in. Let's go ahead and start a new simulation and do this again. And this time we'll start with uh, something a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and adjust the radius so I can lock it. Change this to a mass of 5 Jupiters. There we go. And let's just go ahead and throw Earth past it. That'd be an interesting one to see. Let's go ahead and slow down time so it doesn't go flying by very quickly again. And here's Earth getting ready to fly past this super dense Earth. And look at that. Oh, that was cool. Oh, wow. The super dense Earth just literally ripped itself apart the second that one collided into it. And this one actually survived, given it's going to be super hot and it's covered in shockwaves and being pelted with very, very massive chunks of rock and other things. Wow, that was a really cool result. I did not actually expect that to happen. Let's go ahead and do this once more, and let's uh, try something else. Let's go ahead and place it as a still object. Uh, let's go ahead and change the radius again. Lock it, and set the mass to 5 Jupiters. Okay, so what should we throw at it? What would be a good contender for this? I don't, I don't think stars make sense. I think naturally people are going to tell me to use Pluto, so let's go ahead and throw Pluto past it and see what happens. Let's go ahead and slow down time to 10 minutes per second again. Well, that's very slow, but that's fine. Just speed it up right now. And there's Pluto. I don't think it's actually going to shred up. No? What just happened? It looked like it, it exploded and then turned back into a normal Earth, kind of. Oh, it might have got shredded up by the Roche Limit and just created a ton of asteroids and then pelted Earth, because you can see there's tons and tons of shockwaves. Hmm. One thing I am going to note is I do actually have the simulation quality turned down, so let's go ahead and reset the uh, simulation settings, and let's try this again. Let's go ahead and launch Pluto and see if there's any actual difference. So there's Pluto flying towards Earth, actually, rather slowly. I did throw it from a pretty fair distance away. Earth is already molten. And here comes Pluto, it's accelerating as it come, like goes towards the uh, gravity of Earth, and... It looks like it was just a uh, straight collision this time, it didn't look like it actually exploded in any way. So, what else should we use? Perhaps... Mars. No, let's use Uranus, since it's actually a pretty uh, small gas giant in terms of gas giants, but it's also only 14 masses of Earth, while this is 5 masses of Jupiter. So let's see what happens if we throw Uranus past it. Okay, so there's Uranus, probably going to scrape by and fall into Earth, but let's just see what happens, kind of in slow motion. So it's being shredded apart by its Roche limit, and Earth is probably going to turn into a gas giant very quickly here. And there's a collision. Whoa. What happened to Uranus? 
They turn solid? I think we just found a pretty weird bug in the game. That is very weird. It turned into... Let, let's check the materials. Yeah, there's no hydrogen. What happens when it absorbs all this material? Super weird. It actually turned into a rocky planet. I don't think that was uh, at all intended to happen, but very cool. Hmm, that's very interesting. Anyways, uh, I think I want to call that the end of this video. Ending with a very cool bug. Oh, that is super weird. Oh, it's turning into an Oceania. No, it's not an Oceania. It's actually a Terra. It does actually have, like, land masses. Oh, that's very cool. I think it's just because there was just more mass in Earth or something. But you would think there would at least be some hydrogen. There actually is a little bit. But, uh, not that much. What is the, uh, diameter of this planet? The radius is 21,000 kilometers, which if we put Jupiter next to it, it's still quite a bit smaller than Jupiter. I think it just took on the radius of Uranus. Actually, it's a little bit smaller than Uranus. Hmm, very weird. Well, I'm going to call that the end of this video. If you guys like the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.